Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. I am your mother. I am your biological mother. Your real name is Odile. Named after your late father. Odile, my husband. Not so do. See, I know how difficult it is for you to believe this. But you have to believe me, son. I am your mother. Touch me. Touch me. Feel me. Feel me. I want to feel it, the warmth of your mother. I want to feel in the connection. I carried you nine months in my womb. I nurtured you as a baby before that ugly incident took place. It's okay, my child. I know this might be sounding weird to you, but you have to believe me. I am your mother. Now, does it mean I have two mothers or what? Mom said you are evil, that I should avoid you. Tell me, Auntie Isi, are you truly evil? Why are you both quarreling? I thought friends are not meant to quarrel.
day, Mr. Richie. Good day, Nelly. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. That's good. Good to know. Um, it's your wife in? Not really. Actually, uh, I came in here and she wasn't around. I've been calling her phone since and she's not picking. I was actually thinking of calling you. What about Lucia? Um, I spoke with her on the phone. The way she sounded, she sounded really worried. She said that was a very big problem and she hung up. I tried calling her severally, but she won't pick my call. When was this? Like two or three hours ago. But what have we done? I haven't seen my son either. Have your son, Lucia. Where is Udo, my son? I do not know whom you speak of. I have someone in my custody, and that is my child, Odile. But if he's the one you refer as Udo, your child, <laughs> you better have a rethink because the child has found his biological mother, and his mother has found her lost child. And I'm not going to let him go this time. Not again. Not even with my last breath. You speak of breath. You speak of breath, Isi. You were almost going to lose that breath. I saved you. I gave you life. Because I thought we were sisters. But I see you do not appreciate that. I will take that breath from you. <laughs> <laughs> My regards to me. She will hmm? yeah, just go home. Go. Go home street. Ah, uh, uh, why not? I am watching. Bye bye. <laughs>
are you okay? Yes. I am okay. Well, what was the last time you heard from Lucia this year? It's been a while I heard from you. The last time I called, none of them took their calls. But why do you ask? Hmm? Everything, everything is fine. I have not spoken to them yet. Oh, oh, go inside and uh, wash the go inside and put it on by. Then you, you, you come and help me by wet it. I must speak to them. It, it's unusual for, for them not to. so many times, would you pick up my call? Nelly just left here telling me that she called you on the phone and sounded very troubled about something. Is everything all right? And where's her son? Is everything all right? <laughs> Lucia. What is you do? Mama, 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 mama. Okay, I'm carrying you to You know, it, it, it was just this morning I asked Kachi if she had heard from you. Or some mama. Then I gave her money to go and buy credit so I could call you. Bogide, bogide, bogide. No connection. Eh? Who is the boy? I found my son. I 
found my missing son. I thank you for this great news. Hey, how can I get to your If I've been seeing you. Namo, you're welcome. This is good news. Only seven you but neck and for this great news. It's a bit of bad news and good news. How? Oh. It happens to be that my missing child, Odili, mm -hmm. is the same child Lucia had taken in as her own. Lucia had my missing baby all these years. Lucia, you look me in the eye and tell me that kidnappers took my son. Wait. Let me understand you clearly. Our own precious son, our only son, was taken right before your very eyes by strangers. And you stood there doing absolutely nothing when they took my son away. Lucia, is that what you want to tell me? I want you to tell me I have no clue about how many were there. Were there three or four? What description? Were they dark? Were they masked? What, what, what clue can you give me about them? I tried. You tried what? No, tell me what is it you tried. My life wire you took from me. <laughs> Lucia, you will find my son. You will find my son. I said. You will find my son. You will find my son. You will find my son, Lucia. Otherwise, three of us are going to die in this place. And I'll not regret it. Find my son. You must find that boy. You must find that boy. Lucia threatened to fight me with all she has if I ever try to make a case with her. She promised she will use her wealth and influence to win the case anytime, any day. Mama, I was scared. I was scared. I had no other option than to elope with my child. But how could Lucia be so insensitive to the feelings of a mother? How? You see, a man question not The devil will not be given any back seat. A man will learn no I will call her directly and invite her so we can discuss the issue. No, 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 no you're, you're not going to do that. Lucia must not know that we're in this village. If she knows, she'll come here and take this boy away from me. Hey, Mama, I don't want my son an inch away from me. Not anymore. Because they are not not well, I don't, don't call her, please. That is not the way to handle this matter. She needs to come here so we can discuss everything. 
I need to discuss with her one on one. Oh no, 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 she shouldn't even know that we are here, please. Hey, do I give her mother's cigarette for me also? Ben. Nothing must happen to my son. Nothing must happen to my son. You know everything. He is all I have. You know how that boy came about. Please, send your men to do everything they can to bring my son back to me. Let them find that boy and bring him to me unharmed. <sighs> it's okay, Mr. Richie. I understand your plight. We must do everything within our powers to make sure we have a positive result. Your gate man, you said he traveled. Yes. He went home to be with his family. And your wife? She's home. She's absolutely devastated. In that case, we might need to have one or two words with her since she was home when the incident took place. Maybe we could get some vital clue from her. Whatever it takes. Oh, please. I want my son back to me. Please. Uh, it's all right. Be rest assured. We will do our best. you and your team been able to come up with as regards the kidnap of Mr. Reggie's son? Nothing yet, sir. Nothing tangible at the moment. But I believe very soon we'll be able to come up with something strong. How soon are you talking about? Pretty soon, sir. It's just that we are facing challenges of inability to get a strong clue that will help us nail whoever this person or persons are. Mr. Richie would have been in a better position to help us decline of any known enemy in the past that he thinks might be behind the act. His wife, on the other hand, who would have been in a better position to give us a strong clue, is yet to provide us with inf concrete information. She still maintains everything happened in a swift answer. How be it? Uh, we'll be able to come up with something strong pretty soon. Listen to me, Mark. I don't know who and who declined. All I want is for you and your team to beef up more security and find the hideout of the kidnap. I will do just that, sir. going on, Lucia? Why have you decided to keep everybody in the dark? Even if you want to hide this from everybody, definitely not your husband. He deserves to know. You know who made away with your child. Why haven't you told him? 
You will not understand, Nelly. Things are just complicated. Complicated? The adoption. You and your husband legally adopted a child from the orphanage home at a tender age six years ago. You've since taken in this child, nurtured him, showered him with love, and treated him like your own biological child. Six years later, you discovered it's your best friend's missing child you adopted. And now she will do anything to have this child back. That she had to kidnap this said child in your presence. Now your husband and the police are out there walking their asses off, searching the nook and cranny of this city just to find a clue to know who this kidnapper is. Meanwhile, the truth lies in your lips. What is going on, Lucia? Do you think keeping this a secret is good for your home? Would you rather prefer it's made known to him by someone else? What is the big deal there? Why can't you tell your husband who this kidnapper is? Is there more to this story that I need to know? Nelly, everything I did, I did to save my home. I did everything because, because I love my husband. Isi should be in my shoes and know that she is in a position to save my marriage. Why wouldn't she just do that and, and save everybody the damage? Why? You're confusing me, Lucia. I said you won't understand. It's complicated. But I just want you to know this. The day my husband finds out the reason behind my son's kidnap. That day will be the end of my marriage.
to reason. Let us find a mature and good way to handle the situation. Oju, if you want to know what you want to do, if you want to right, if you want to right, if you wrong. I also, I have reached out to uh, Lucia. The way she sounded on the phone shows that she is ready for war. Nani. I can see the clouds. I can see the thunderstorm looming. We need to do something to avert the danger. As a can come or get in, get in on a nephew. Makanefa tipwe. Oh, God, it's very bad. This is serious. You see, those two have been best of friends from childhood. We all want them grow up more like sisters in this village. You see, the bond of love between them was an envy of all. Everybody was told, Why? What's happening? Eh? Now the devil is playing the first one of them. But they can still say no to the devil. I mean, it's within their power. Is there anything I need to know? 
over once and for all. What is going on here? Do you really need to pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about? Or you're just so insensitive to my feelings? I am talking about my missing son, Odile whom your wife here adopted from the orphanage home years ago and named him Udo. Go on. Why are you so insensitive to the feelings of a mother? Why have you decided to torment my soul this way? Why? Yes, I know how you feel. I understand you have taken my son in and showered him love as your own child. I also understand that he has become a pillar of peace in your home. But then, you, you can't deny me the right to my child. My son is right there in the village. But he doesn't recognize me as his mother. Lucia, please. Come and tell my son the truth. Tell him I am his biological mother. Tell him you adopted him from the orphanage at a tender age. Please. Wait, Lucia, hold, please. hold on. What exactly is going on here? Will you stop this drama and tell me what is going on here? Are you indirectly... Do you have my son? Is he... Are you the one who kidnapped my son? My son, he is. Yes. I made away with him the moment your wife made me understand I can't have my child back. The moment she threatened me that she will win the case anywhere, or if I try to, to prove to the court or anyone else that my son, who has been missing for six years, is the one she adopted and called her own child. Udo? Adopted? How? Lucia. Yes. Everything I did, I did because I love you. Because I didn't want to lose you. I didn't want to lose my marriage. <laughs> Richie, you threatened to throw me out of this house and bring in another woman if I failed to give you a child. <laughs> I didn't want to lose you, Richie. in a dilemma. The only thing that occurred to me was to utilize the opportunity while you were in the States. I knew you were going to stay longer. So... So... 
swear I don't set it down. And made you believe I was pregnant before you traveled. I planned everything. Everything. My tummy. The video calls you made. Everything was fake. Loving another man's child as my son. Hmm. I have been loving, caring, experience the joy from the one that is not even mine. Lucia. Why did you have to kill me this way? Richie. Uh, Richie. 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 Richie.
This is Anthony Dixon with the same person that the young lady refers to as Lucy. From all indications, she could be. The description she gave the very first day she came here fits into it all. Moreover, Mrs. Antonia was the only visitor you had that same day she said she saw you both. From our record, the adoption process took place six years ago. Same year, the young lady claimed her baby got missing. I'm not saying it's a guarantee, it's the same baby. But I, I still feel this. There is a strong connection here. Well then, I must have gone extra miles the way I handled her case in mm -hmm. the sister. What are we missing? Yes. How poisonous could it be? What I tell you here and now, sis, fear is a poison. We have the right to choose not to take. I think it's high time you stood up to your fear, sis. Yes! Delay could be dangerous. It's high time you took legal actions on this matter. Who knows? Victory awaits you at the end of the tunnel. I should take legal actions and gain victory in this our society. The society you and I live. <sighs> the society where truth becomes lies and is swept under the carpet. And the truth automatically becomes lies in broad daylight. <sighs> I should take a high societal class woman 
so caught and and then what happens they will probably demand for a maternity dna test and that would confirm i am the biological mother of the child but then lucia would bribe her way with her wealth and influence she would even present a certificate confirming that she adopted the child right from when he was at tender age. Next, they begin their politics in the law court, all in the name of child right. That the welfare and comfort of the child matters most in this case. <laughs> and they will ask my child, my baby, that I carried in my womb who he is more comfortable with. He will point at Lucia as the mother he knows. And Lucia will take custody of my child. And I, 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 so be it. So be it then, Isi. For goodness sake, who has been feeding you with all this fallacy? And who even told you that the adopted parents stand a better chance in claiming the child in the law court more than the biological parents? I don't know. I do not know who has been feeding you with all this negative vibes. Fine. If she is taking custody of the child, let her do but let it be on record that you have taken legal actions at all in claiming that child. It is far better than sneaking around with a child that you hold your own. Have you got an idea? The pain, the trauma, the dangers that she was subjecting that little boy into. Do you know? Near the catch. Whose side are you on? My side or Lucia's? It is not a matter of taking sides. It is a matter of facing reality. It is a matter of standing up to your fears, battle with it, and conquer it. See, I think that you are allowing your emotions blackmail your intelligence. You know, sometimes one might be right in certain issues. But your approach towards that issue might make you wrong. Have you got an idea that Lucia could sue you for kidnap? So if you truly, truly love this child of yours, his happiness should be your number one priority. What makes him happy should make you happy as well. Since you do not need a soothsayer to tell you that this boy isn't happy here. He is not comfortable. He doesn't even recognize you as his mother yet. So the earlier you do the needful, take legal actions and damn the consequences, the better for you whether it plays out in your favor or not. This thing called blood is mystic. It works far, far beyond our human comprehension. If it does not work for you today, it might work for you tomorrow. Sis, delay no more. I, I 
I see danger. I see disaster looming around. And it will be a crime against your soul if you embrace it tomorrow when you have the opportunity to avert it today. Thank you so much, Kachi, for that piece of advice. I need to let you know, I am not letting go of my child anymore. I would rather face the danger than allow that bitter soul, Lucia, take custody of my child. Never! school area. I saw her with something like a gun. Jeez, there's no doubt that she's coming to this house. Friend turned sister. It's 
sister turned enemy. Busy I was playing the role of his sister and a friend. But she was busy hacking plants, evil plants. Evil plants on the ground to destroy me. But I will destroy you first. Before then, Isioma, I need my child right now. On the count of three. Hey! Don't shoot that one. Don't shoot that one. Don't shoot, please, Biko. Biko! 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 This matter is already getting out of hand. And if it is not settled at once, the consequences are bound to be unpalatable to us. We may not know what to do. You see, if you can know that, when I have what I do in Oji, I'm a fair. What an air that sees why seated. Even if a child climbs the mountain top, he cannot see it. Let us be careful over this matter. Let us settle it now before the worst happens. Odogu, thank you. 
our daughters. Lucy, Shema, Biko. We understand the pains and traumas both of you have been going through since the inception of this case. Mana Asi, if we want me, I will not go. Mana, we do not do. Or we later, Ara. Or in a bin we do. Or we will later, Ara. So what we are saying is that both of you, all of you have your rights. And all of you are claiming your rights. The truth of this matter is that the issue at hand is a very delicate one. Ishoma is telling us that she is the biological mother of the boy. While Lucia is saying she adopted the boy at a very tender age, they all have their rights. And what we are looking for is a way to make peace between both of them. Whether I come from here or there, well spoken. Well spoken. Um, in as much as we elders mightn't know much, we believe that there are legal and medical ways of handling this kind of issue, which should have been the first step. But now that this matter has come to our doorstep, this way we cannot sit down and fold our hands and watch a female goat deliver in tetas what we are asking for is peace and the way forward we want peace here and now because of trouble that might happen out of this <sighs> I have agreed to make peace. <laughs> I legally adopted Udo at a very tender age from the orphanage home. Automatically, that makes me his mother. And I am responsible for him as well. His security is my priority. Let Isioma here take me to court. Let her prove to the court that she is the biological mother of my son. And I'll let her have Never. him. Never for one second will I allow my child out of my reach anymore. What have you turned into, Lucia? What has become of you? You know the truth. You know the truth, Lucia. Why is it so difficult for you to accept it? Why? Why do I have to go to the law court to claim a child I carried nine months in my womb from Lucia of all people? A woman who threatened me not to take this case to court because she will eventually win. <laughs> she made me understand that she legally adopted my son and that the court will only be interested in the welfare and comfort of the child she's only looking for an opportunity to bribe her way and take custody of my child but that will never happen it will never happen i guess you knew you have lost a long time ago because i am not ready to take chances i will not let you set your eyes on my child again not while I'm still alive. Lucia, you're nothing but a monster. Bravo. I see you have an unrepentant heart. I see you want to fight me. You see that boy? I would have him. My child, I would have one Never, I will make sure I do. It will never happen. No, 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 no,
I am sorry, son. I am sorry for all the stress I have made you go through. I might be wrong. Yes, I might be wrong. But everything I did, I did for the love I have for you. I did for the untying love I have for you. Although we grow so fond of each other, right now I find it difficult to let you go. We bonded like mother and child should. You stole every part of me. My body. My soul. My spirit. <laughs> Everything that I find it difficult to let you out of my sight. I just... I just wish I could gather the strength Someday, I just wish, I just wish, I just wish. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Altisi? Have you decided to take me away from my mother? You don't look like a bad person. Why then did you lock me here? Please, Auntie, you see. I want to go out and play with my mother. I want you to take me to my mother, please. Please, Auntie, you see. I did this for your safety, you all the way. I took you so you could be far away from someone who wanted to harm you. But not to worry, my son. Tomorrow morning, we are leaving this village for good. To a place where you can play freely, okay? Help me, help me please, help me, I beg of you. My sister, if you ask for my opinion, I will say 
any of them that claims that she truly loves this boy should let's go for now. She should give him breathing space because his sense of belonging is being tormented. Or better still, they should do the needful. Take the case to court and wait for the outcome. But, but that's the only thing I can suggest right now. Exactly my point, my dear friend. You know, I just wish that this thing doesn't turn out to be worse later. And, and they end up regretting it. You know, the way this whole thing is, is developing right now, it makes me scared. Mary, I am scared. I know. I know. It's okay. <clears throat> so, where is the boy now? <clears throat> Who knows? I do not know. Nobody knows. It's okay. <sighs> Be strong. The only child of my parents. Our house is not far from there. Yesterday, I was going on an errand for my mother. When I heard you sobbing, I felt the tears in your voice. That made me come to life. I came back at night, and what I saw made me know that you were in trouble. Tell me, stranger, are you in trouble? Are you? Thank you so much for bringing me out here. That shows you're a good friend. My mom and my dad were the only closest friend I had. Then Nancy Easy took me away from them, locking me there. Now I feel all alone. No more friends. No one to talk to, no one to play with. I want you to be my friend. Will you? Of course I will, if you want me to. Cross your heart. to let's go. Hi! Oh, Lucia. 
Lucy and Mom, that is why I always talk about you. May Almighty God bless you. May He give you your own. May he... Where is my son? Where is my son? Where have you hidden my son, Odile? What is she talking about? Don't even ask me what I'm talking about. Where have you hidden my son? Where have you taken him to? Isi, 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 please. I am warning you. I don't understand this, this charade, this game you are trying to put on. Listen, the last time I checked, you had my son, Udo. So in heaven's name, I am begging you, you will get my son back to me and not ask me where my boy is. Don't make me lose it because we are going to die here now. What, what is going on here? <laughs> Mama, I went to the room where I kept my son, Udo. And he was nowhere to be found. What? I have searched all over for him and he, I could not find him. Lucia has planned to elope with my child. What is a lie? You fail! Because it's it today, you give me my son. Let me have my child before I give you a dirty slap that will resound your brain. I need my son now! Mama! Stop it! Give me my son! You think I'm talking to this son?
sign of him yet. What kind of thing is this? Where would he have gone to? Give him one more nature. Get the one who don't want to be in Cabicon. Kachi, what are you people doing here? We've been searching for Odili. We've been searching for him everywhere. Yeah? We've been searching for my star son. I thought I saw him headed towards the stream this morning. Yes! Wait a minute. Ose, Ose, are, are, you, are you talking about my son? I saw him. You, you saw him? Where, where did you see him? I see stream. Which, which stream? Give him one more on it. Which stream? Wait. I beg you. Just take me to where you saw him. Stream. Exactly the, the path where you saw him. Mary, Wait. talk now. Hey, baby. What is it? Why are you running? Who is suggesting you? Talk to me. Where is the boy that I saw you with this morning? We were playing at the riverside. Then he jumped into the water. We didn't see him again. We, we, sit, we sat down and we were waiting for him, but we didn't see him again. I decided to run out and look for someone. What is she talking about? They were together this morning. I, I saw the two of them together. Yes! My son! Listen to me. You were with a little boy today. I need you to take me to the exact place you were. Before he jumped into the water, please run. Can't be 
It was this morning when I went to the stream of uh, Umuzu, two villages away from this community. Okay. I saw his body lying down in the stream. Lying on, on the ground? Yes. At the stream there? Yes. Hi. So I was very confused. I don't know what to do. Hi. So it, I, I was confused because since I became a fisherman, I have never experienced this kind of thing. Mm. So. It was my friend here, who is also a fisherman, ah. that told me everything. He described me about the boy. Okay. So that is why we brought him. Wow. Yes. Thank you very much. Hey. <laughs> oh, Lucia. But no, no, you people have killed him. <laughs> Where is your God? Can you do to keep us here, Wabia? You people should kill each other now. Kill him, boy. The shaman Nanya, Lucy and Nanya, I'm going to go. 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 I'm going to go.
Yes, we come in search of one Mrs. Rachel Isiobo Kunku. We were actually directed to this place. Are we at the right place? Um, sorry, pardon our manners. I'm Phil, a human rights lawyer and also a matron at orphanage back in Lagos. This is Fidel, my colleague, and this is Nadia, a nurse in the orphanage too. We, we have come with a good news that we believe will help is the stress she's going through. Thank you. After. I heard. Yes, I did. I misjudged her. But Maybe, just maybe because of the approach she took. At first I saw her as one of those young ladies, those teenagers that were in the habit of giving birth to innocent babies and throwing them into the streets. And maybe after the realities of life came back hitting at them, they sought to eat, rip where they did not sow. We have such cases in the past, and it's still happening. One naked in my Little did I know that I was wrong about her. The woman seated before you was and still in her shoes. My only child went missing many years ago. And up until now, my daughter was nowhere to be found. One of the reasons I took up this job to cater for children. I'm still praying, hoping that one day God will hear my prayer and bring back my daughter wherever she is. But there's something different the last time we met. What I saw in her the last time we met was so, so different. Sincerity. I saw in her eyes a young woman who is in deep pain and couldn't bear it all. So what I saw led us into conducting some investigations on her. I'm sorry to tell you this. We followed you, not known to you. Yes. We were to go by what we came up with. Her claims will be right. The supposed woman that adopted the baby actually gave false identity of herself. Reasons yet or not. Miss Yama, as hard as it might be, I am here to back you up. I am here to help you get back your child. You're lucky you still have yours. I've not seen mine. I've not seen mine up till today. 
though there are legal procedures to that. But the fact that the said woman gave false identity of herself at the point of adoption might be a plus to you. There is no harm in trying. I will fight with my last strength to make sure you get your baby back. In other I will do that, believing I am doing it for myself. Once the maternity DNA test is confirmed, then we have passed the first phase. You don't need to worry. I will make sure you get your baby back. Once again, we apologize. I'm so sorry. The said child is dead. He died. He drowned last week in the village street. They killed him. It's all their fault. All in the name of protection. I will put you one mother so that they protect you. <laughs> and the poor child escaped. He followed his fellow children and went to the stream to swim. On a cousin, I guess you're a good Millie. Who taught him how to swim? Oh, tell me, Dilly, John, I've rise away, Mama, not Millie. And he got drowned. Hi. Hi. That isn't even enough. Lucia. Lucia couldn't stand the sight of the dead child. She passed out. She, she was quickly taken to the hospital where she was declared dead on her life now. Oh, 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 as if that wasn't enough. The doctor found out she was two months and two weeks pregnant. Whether she knew or she did not know she was pregnant, I am as and since then, his yoma has not been the same. His yoma has been acting abnormal.
No more.